Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement. In this video, we will learn about the replace and fill down technique can be done in Power Query. So let's start. So I will go to Get Data from Excel Workbook, and then I will go to the folder for my file is PQ13 Replace and Fill, and I will open this Excel Workbook. So it will take few seconds to read. All right, so we have a choice. Either we can select table or sheet. So I will go with the table. So here is the preview and we will go directly to the Power Query Editor. So we will click on Transform Data button. Okay, so here is the Power Query Editor. Now you can see here in the Products column, we have the first product that is soft drinks and then we have null everywhere right then we have bottles and then we have null everywhere and uh, how we can fill this downwards each of the product where each of the product has a new name we want to fill this same name okay uh, I hope that you have might done previously this kind of a technique in Microsoft Excel uh, today you will learn that how you can do fill down technique in Power Query then we will replace uh, one word that is of salesperson Rafiq and instead of Rafiq we want to replace into Raheem okay so let's get start if I select the product column first for fill down so you will get this option in the transform tab okay and here is the icon called fill so you have two kind of choices either you want to fill down pattern or you want to fill up so when I click on fill down, you can see that very easily uh, the null cell has been filled with the product name very successfully, right? Now we will see how to replace a certain word from a column, okay? So I have selected the salesperson column and uh, here I will use replace values, okay? And uh, it will open up a small window. So the value to find is Rafiq and we want to replace it with Raheem okay and click on ok so it has been replaced so whatever we are doing in power query on the back end by using some buttons or features on the ribbon definitely as you know that uh, on the back end and mashup language has been created so you can see in the advanced editor uh, this particular code or you can see in the applied steps each of the step has been recorded here right so it's very easy uh, to do the fill downwards or upwards in power query or replace any kind of a word in the power query once you are done you can just click on close and apply and you are ready to use them in your dashboards thank you